says we're live. Alex is working on the other side of the desk. So hopefully the, the scanning that he's doing is not annoying. And if it is, just leave a comment below. <laughs> um, but what I'm doing, I just wanted to show some progress on this project for the owner. And I was getting ready to make this, uh, well, I made this straight panel uh, just a few minutes ago and um, thought I'd just go ahead and go live just to show the owner what kind of progress I've got going here. So I'm going to copy this over 1.5 inches times 11. The only trick that I did on this lower, these lower panels were because they lap. You can see here, this one laps over the lower, the, the upper ones lap over the lower ones. Uh, I need to hide these lines because this is the thing in SketchUp where you, depending on the view, you can see the lines behind, behind things. So what you're seeing is the lines from the one that's lapped. So what you can do is I can edit if I was at least smart to make these components I can make those lines hidden like that and now all you see is the line from the one that you're supposed to see the one that's lapped over like that Now we can make a group out of all of these. Make a group. I can get ahead of everybody commenting. Yet? Not yet. We're doing good, Alex. And I'm going to copy. Oops. Copy this, copy that, logic. Alex is like, if I'm going to have to work in here, no corny jokes. What is all that? Let me see. I want that newspaper article. Alex is scanning a bunch of stuff for me. Yeah, these are habitat pictures, so I want to scan these. This one is me. I show this on the live stream. See that? Where's my OBS? See? That's me in 1987 laying concrete block on the first habitat house in Chattanooga. Isn't that cool? I'm going to do a video on these. No, what is that? No. One sided, yeah, okay. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing here. What am I doing here? I was kind of hoping, especially for point one, with this moving thing here. I'm just gonna have to do it when I do the other one. <coughs>
which is really great. You might have catch some variants when I'm doing a live stream, which is obviously not being very successful at the moment. <laughs> I'm trying to do an update on this this building right here. So I've got these. Um, so that's that's where I'm that's where I am now. So what I'm going to do now is make this upper panel, and this is one thing I wanted to show was the process I went through to do that was I drew out the profile. Let me get rid of this, all this mess. Hmm. Oh, I can't. I don't need all this stuff anymore. Stuff in this. upper panel, this upper roof panel. I, this was the first thing I did yesterday when I started making the panels. Um, so now I have this upper line of everything. And what I've been doing is just offsetting this a sixteenth of an inch. That means I can copy copy this one. a little line there over here hmm what hmm, something like that those are not cold planar yesterday with There we go, it closed. And you can see when it made that face right there, that's what I was looking for, was it to create that face, because now I can just raise this up. Um, this is for now 12 inches or something. Kind of give me a guide. So I can see how tall. Their screen, if I can get rid of that now. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Those are awful dark, aren't they? Let me see. Oh, it's upside down. I don't know. You don't need to do this. 
No, that's America's Choice. I don't need both. So, what I need to do is copy this. Did you did you do all of them? But did we start with did we start at the beginning? Brian Quickshank, Howdy Tony from Texas. Your sound oh my sound is really low. Let me turn it up. I was trying not to. How's that? I was trying not to have the, uh, I thought it might.
Well, that's weird. Can you hear me now? Testing, testing. Dang. I lost my camera too. This is why. Why are all my live streams just disasters? This it's just amazing to me. But nothing wants to work now. My now my video cameras froze up. Oh well, you'll just have to look at my frozen face. Can you hear the audio now, Brian? Anyway. I'm going to do this. I'm doing this. Let me see. Okay, great. Cool. All right, so the real trick I wanted to show in this live stream was how you can use the follow me tool. Once you have a profile, I don't know if you, if what happened was I took this profile, I had to make I had to make a solid kind of surface so that I could rotate it up. I rotated it up and I got it on this plane or on this axis. And then I isolated this profile because now it's in the, you know, the orientation I want it to be in. And I welded all the line segments together using the plugin called Weld. Now I'm gonna use the uh, follow me tool right here. I'm gonna select this surface and boom, I just created the top roof panel. Because I had that profile so close, I had it kind of connected to the face, it automatically assumed that that was the profile I wanted to take. And boom, now imagine yourself having to draw this roof panel without having the ability <laughs> to do that. So what I'm gonna do now is copy that. Roger. Okay. That really that joke's really getting on good things. And then I'm gonna create a group or create a component and that's gonna be the bridge panel. Bridge panel. I'm an old DOS guy. I don't like leaving spaces in my file names. I still can't do it even with Windows ten. Create it, create. All right, so now we can take this. Still checking, testing, testing. <laughs> and uh, take this now and figure out how we can get this rotated properly. Uh, right there, because this is going to lap over. Somehow I got to get this positioned if I could get my but why I can't get these corners to go to each other it's like I can't this is trouble I've been having with, there we go, I think that's right, yeah. Now, how am I going to rotate this up? Okay. The problem with rotating is that, you, you see, I need, a, I need a face I can rotate from. I need a vertical face, but I need to be, I need to be, up there when I do it. So I'm just gonna draw myself a vertical face, make a group out of it and then move it up there. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I need this to be right there. So now when I rotate, I wanna rotate this thing, not that thing. And I wanna go from be on the green axis. What degrees would that be? 68.4. That's when I rotated the other one. See if I can get lucky. And so now this uh, 
this point would go in there like that and then slide down on this nine inches like that did I get lucky huh yeah I think what was it yeah All right. I'm, uh, on that one. Yeah. Do you want to do some more on the other on the other thing? Or do you want to do it some other time? I can do it now. There's a box in the garage. Let's how see. More, how much is it? Uh, is it more than that? No, no, no. It should, actually, is this it right here? Yeah. I wonder how many of these photographs we can get. I tell you what, let me just let me finish up my live stream and we'll do we'll do it some of the time. How about that? Yeah. I appreciate your help though. because uh, I know people are already probably annoyed that I'm not concentrating on this. Let's see. Follow me is great for crown loading. Yes it is. Yes, it is. I'm not sure why my camera. I wonder if I unplugged my camera and plugged it back in if it would work. can't refresh it oh well it's no big deal I'm not that pretty anyway <clears throat> so why uh, why was it not showing your comment Brian I don't know uh, okay so what I'm trying to do is get this roof panel to lay down on here properly it needs to lap lap this upper panel but for some reason it didn't uh, 68.4 degrees didn't quite get it uh, where I wanted it so now bad part is I gotta rotate it from this vertex right here or it won't work there should be a gap but I don't understand this why there's like I guess there is a tiny gap there there should be a gap right here and there's no oh there is oh no I don't see a gap I don't understand why I think what I'm going to do is move this back uh, I guess I could turn off. I could move this panel out of the way or these out of the way for a minute. I could move them over a given number six feet and then put this. Put my vertical face here. I gotta rotate it from this vertex right here. Vertices, whatever. And somehow I gotta figure out what the amount of rotation would be. Sometimes um, SketchUp is 
pretty pretty intuitive and sometimes if I can get my scrolling under sometimes see I can't get it I select this first and then go back. It needs to be on the green axis and see. There we go. Well, crud. There we go. Let's see if we can get lucky. Get down there. Oh, I thought I had it. I clicked and it just went down farther. Let's see if I can get it again. See if you can get your get this up high enough you can get enough. Did I get lucky? No, I didn't. Son of a gun. Toggle planes when you rotate something. Is there, is there a way to toggle planes when you try to rotate something? It's 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 very frustrating because I I haven't worked with these weird shapes enough. Uh, only the only way I know how to rotate them is to have like a vertical face or something on the plane I want to rotate. And so what I have to do is if I want this vertex to stay in the same spot, I feel like I have to rotate it around that point. And, but I don't know how to make it go to. I'll have to, this may be one of those things I have to go research. And uh, I don't know, that needs to be on the green axis, okay? And if I, I know I want to rotate based on that. Now, if I wonder if I go over here, see, I can't. Once I select that second point, I can't get to a, a, a place where I can. I would have to know the degrees. And to get the right tolerance, you need to be at a certain angle. And that's as close as I can get it. Good Lord, that's just, that's about where I had it last time. There's still a gap there. What I need to be doing is paying attention to the amount of rotation that I am getting, I guess. I gotta get that on the green. You gotta kind of play with it until it I wonder if um, if I come over here and oh, I think I got it. I think that's it. I got it. Thank you, Jesus. Now let's see if it stayed. Let's see if these panels stayed for let's put this back at six feet and see if my if it's close enough for government work I might just leave it alone well dang let's see Now, now I got the issue over here. How did that work? Oh, I see. I see. I see what happened. Let's go back. This might be too painful to watch. <laughs> I'll, I'd draw an arc between the two sides if the roof and mate the center of the shape. 
Center of the Ark. Hmm. That's an interesting idea. So if I had this, you know what? You might just have come up with a stroke of genius because what I can, I know this whole thing is, uh, I can put the whole thing where it goes now. Like I can get rid of this, that line. Where's my other little line? I'm gonna get rid of that one. And then I can make a group out of this. Brian, I think you're a genius. Let's see if I can get it all selected without I gotta move this thing out of the way. So I move this whole if I get this whole thing, that's still a group over there, that's what that's doing. And I make a group out of the whole thing, then I rotate this 90 degrees. And use this reference for that. 90. That should be standing up now. Yeah. So now I can take this, like you said, and put it over here. Where is the point going to be, though? The point is... Yeah, that, that's out here. Let me get that. This point is that point. I think the other line is a group. Is a group indicator. Yeah, so this should be the center. Let's see though. Uh, oh, hang on, let me do that. It too. So this... Where'd it go? This, yeah, this line right here. Where'd it go? Is this curved line right here is that curved line? So if I get I'm going to throw this headphone in the garbage. It keeps dropping on my leg. So if I get the center, what's driving me nuts now is this, uh, oh yeah, unselect that. Uh, if I get the center, how am I going to know where the center is? Uh, let's see, where am I? Point. See, this is where I may be. Um, let's do this. Let's put us a rough reference about here. Is that the center? Why does it feel like that's the, and then the other frustrating thing is, is that glued to something? I can't get it to go down. Uh, sometimes this feels like it gets glued. No, it's not glued to like a, a reference point. Oh, there we go. Found it. Now, I can't get this to move. This is the most frustrating thing about working in 3D. Um, 
trying to get something to move, just simply move to where you want it. Like I can't get it to go down there now. And that's why I thought it was glued to something. I should be able to get it to go wherever I want to. If I get in this aspect, I can make it go down. Yeah, okay. Now, let's see if that helps me. That said, that said midpoint of group. Now, the only thing is I'll have to, um, Obviously not centered. Let's see how close I can get this just Okay, it's gonna go down over there and it's gonna be rotated. So this may be something I just have to play with for a while and I'm not sure what I may do is just for the fun of it just go ahead and make one big group like move this out of the way just to give people an idea I don't really need that right now um, what I'm going to do is make the ends of this panel hidden hide okay so that way they don't show through because this is the over I want this line to show up the one that's overlapping and then what I'm going to do is copy this because I can rotate this whole thing because the relationship between those is not going to change so if I copy this I know it's 24 and a half 24.5 times 11 That's why did that not work? If I get twenty four point five, enter times eleven. There we go. So basically, I'll make a group out of all those, and then whatever I, you know, as I'm rotating this, uh, oops. As I'm rotating this one, once I get it into the proper location, they all will be. But just to give people an idea of what this building is going to look like, that's basically what it's going to look like. And the main reason I'm doing this is to give the owner a uh, progress update. He's probably going to be laughing at me like, ha ha. Let's see, I draw an arc between, oh, okay, that's the same, same thing you mentioned before. Yeah, that's the same comment. So let's see now that sometimes I just like to see progress. So that's why I did that. I just wanted to see something done because I was failing miserably. So what I need to do is get this, this profile that I made in the right location. So I need to find out what reference. I thought it was referencing. That's the line right there. Yeah. Uh, so that outer blue line is the uh, group, the group line. 
but I know when I made these panels that uh, I thought it was this point right here. Let's see if that's true over here. That's kind of, that's, that's the problem. A little bit of the problem is that um, these aren't exactly in the right location according to each other. But let's see, uh, that would be, that line would be, yeah, this inner line. So anyway, I'll probably just mess with this some more. I really don't want to bore people to death with this. I mainly just wanted to show some progress uh, to the owner. And I think the building itself is looking really good. We got our all of our rebar done yesterday. And little section here. Show all the rebar, which was quite tedious itself. See, that's the reinforcing for that ledge, that the the outer part of the trough. There, I, I do, I do, I'm happy with the way these uh, stirrups turned out, the way they come and hook around. That, that looks real, That's, that looks very realistic. So that should help there. The panels, the panels look real. I need to come up with a hatch, uh, um, like a, a surface for them. So I don't, I'm gonna have to find, I don't think the materials that I have are gonna work. Let's see, too well, if I go into metal, 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 metal. I've got this metal aluminum anodized. And why did that not? Okay, why is that not? Uh, I shouldn't have to do every surface. But for now, we're going to. Let me pull. What I can do, the easiest thing to do is to pull. But you see, I don't know if I'm going to be happy. I need to get with the owner and see. If that would be, if they would be happy with that finish on there. It might be that I can download another hatch, another poche. Um, but the easiest way to do that is just copy one of these out. Since this is, uh, since these are components, I can copy one out and edit it here. But I should have been able to select all the faces I don't know why I can't select all the faces. There we go. That was bizarre. I don't know why I wasn't able to select them all before. Sometimes I just am famished, whatever that means. So now I can delete this one. But you can see um, that might be it's not really shiny. I don't know if they want it to be shiny or, or not. If you go to their, um, boom. <laughs> if you go to their website, uh, I, I'm like, I've always wanted to have a better finish uh, options. This is the Quonset models. 
See how shiny, I mean, it's not like I really want it that shiny, but um, where, Con, uh, span. Well, I thought I had, there was some gallery. Here we go. Okay, what happened to the pictures? Storage buildings. You know, it's funny. Every time I want to find something quickly, it just, it's a, it's like hiding from me in plain sight. Uh, I thought there were pictures right here. Uh, <laughs> uh, it says gallery, so why are there no pictures? Containers, workshops, garages. Okay. Okay. Garages. But um, you can see that finish. I guess this is the best picture I can come up with right now. It's that, that high, it's that Galvaloon uh, finish. Uh, I have a panel somewhere uh, on another project that has a Galvaloon and it looks better. And now I'm wondering why, why is this one panel, what is that doing up there like that? What is that doing? That's weird. See that? Now that's bizarre too. Why was that one panel showing its colors above the lap like that? You see that that color should only be showing up on the back, and just replacing it fixed it. So. But anyway, I'll go, uh, I'm going to go and try to find a good finish. And then, uh, I, I'm not sure about these front panels. Put my concrete back. I'm just going to delete that section. Um, and... Uh, then I have to, I've got a bunch of hardware stuff I have to draw, which is going to be very tedious and, and boring. But mainly, the other thing I want to ask the owner, see that panel is doing that same thing on this other side. Why? Why? Why are you doing that? Did I not get it in the right place to begin with? Bizarre. Just bizarro. So, are there any other questions before I go? SketchUp is, it is finicky. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> I'm glad somebody else has experienced this. Let me get rid of my little. Uh, it's it's really it's really annoying, honestly. And that, this is a bit, I've been using SketchUp for a long time, okay? I'm talking 10 years. You know, how long has it been out? I've been using it for a long time. And they still haven't gotten rid of this issue where where you can see a line like I shouldn't have to hide those lines if I had if I have a material that's sixteenth of an inch thick okay this has this material has a thickness and I have it lapped over like that okay you should not be able to see the lines from this one behind it that's just that's just tacky and, and they won't address it. I've sent messages and I've seen it in the forums. People have complained about it for years and the same old thing is some kind of open GL thing or something. Well, fix it. Somebody, somebody fix it. Google's got quantum computers. Okay. You can fix this garbage. So anyway, I'm going to uh, stop here. And uh, I know I probably have already, the uh, owners probably, I probably drove them to lunacy already over this whole thing. But this is where I stand, and I'm going to come up with a, a better finish. And I have questions about these. I don't think, he said these front panels were the same, but I'm trying to understand how they would be the same as the side panels, the straight ones. Um, but other than that, I'm going to, 
trying to get all these components drawn and then I'll start on the animation. The animation should be fun, the, although it is, I am using this new uh, animator plugin and um, this, um, it's, a, it's a little finicky. It's not exactly for the uh, 2020 version of, uh, excuse me, SketchUp. So anyway, um, I appreciate everybody watching. And thank you, Brian, for your input. Uh, that get me down the right track there with that one suggestion. Suggestion, that was cool. And uh, thanks a lot. Thanks, Brian.